Hello and welcome to another episode of CapCast. Today we will be talking about working from anywhere, namely working outside of the office, such as at your home, and how those experiences have been different from working in a traditional environment, and how those differences have impacted us. On the line we have Yuna Sergi. Yuna, would you please give us a bit of background on yourself just to give people some context? Sure, thanks for having me on today. So my name is Yumna Sergi. I've been working with Capgemini for about two and a half years, focused specifically on the federal health space. I lead one of our projects at FDA and overall really enjoy being involved in some other business development opportunities and activities for the Salesforce practice at Capgemini. All right. It sounds great. So obviously with working from home over this past year, a lot of people have definitely faced some ups and downs, probably some struggles and adjustments to the different schedule and the different lifestyle of working from home. So have there been any hardships that you have faced? And if so, how were you able to adapt? Sure. So I think there have been a lot of great things about working from home and obviously a lot of challenges, both personal and professional. So quickly to just touch on both aspects of it, I think personally, one challenge has been figuring out a way to replace commute time with something that is productive or a good way to start the day, but not necessarily jumping right into work. So I usually try to work out in the morning or go on a quick walk, read a book, something just brief to get my mind awake without jumping right into the day. And professionally, I think one of the harder parts has been onboarding new people and saying goodbye to other colleagues, less so from a work product perspective and more just from team camaraderie, making sure everybody feels comfortable working together. Figuring that out has definitely required some additional effort and creativity. Absolutely. That completely makes sense. And I think working from home has made it definitely difficult to interact with people and especially onboard people, like you mentioned, because it is working from home and not having that human human interaction. Like you mentioned, there are some ups and downs with working from home. But have there been any noteworthy positive outcomes from working from home this past year? Yeah, definitely. A lot of positives as well. I've had a lot more flexibility to work for a long period of time from different locations. So I got to come home and spend two or three months over the holidays with my family in Colorado, which I was really thankful for. And then when it was safe, go back to DC and spend some extended time there. And I really loved that flexibility to be able to hop back and forth between a couple of different places. And I think professionally, there has been a lot more doors open for creativity with working with people who might have been tied down on other project sites, both within Capgemini government solutions, but I think more importantly with our parent company and really building some relationships with our commercial sector based on some more flexibility in time and client obligations has been a really creative and exciting space. Absolutely. So just like you mentioned, having more time available from remote work is definitely a huge bonus of this kind of lifestyle and work habit. And have there been any hobbies or anything in particular that you've had more time for over this past year as a result of working from home? Yeah. So I don't think I've picked up any new hobbies, but for the past couple of years, I've been really involved with a nonprofit in DC that focuses on adult language education. And I've had a lot more time to dedicate to my students and to helping them shift to a virtual learning model. And then I absolutely love to cook and bake anything from Lebanese cuisine, which is what my parents really do at home to a ton of different types of recipes. So I've definitely had some fun in the kitchen over the the past year as well. Great. Well, it sounds like having all of that extra time has definitely allowed for you to focus on more things that are more personal and more hobbies. So that is great to hear. Well, thank you for featuring in this episode, Yumna, and everyone listening. Thank you. And we will see you next time.